as an artist and a designer, I have to say that the darkness of the night is the most exciting thing in the world. When I read New York, I see this amazing history of architecture. So sometimes when I think about New York, I feel like, wow, I'm building on this legacy of illuminated city. In my profession, whenever you talk about a place, you think of it in the daylight. It's just automatic. People think of places in the daylight, unless you say, let's think about that at night. Oh, what about the nighttime? We're starting our light walk in a quiet residential neighborhood in Greenwich Village at 8.30, and we discovered a street light and a jelly jar light creating a wonderful tableau of highlighted grill work on this railing, beautiful leaf shadows, all fitting together to make a dramatic evening for the perfect stroll. It's really amazing how important headlights are to the nighttime lighting environment. Right now we're walking through this white light of the headlights and the oncoming traffic makes it very exciting. And um, again, these little basement lights are a punctuation, like a sparkle in the environment. We can see into somebody's bedroom, that's always fun. The little private moments, the yellow light through the window. We also have a glowing one-way sign because of the retro-reflective material. And lots of people in the street because the weather's great and it's very safe, charming environment in Greenwich Village. Here we have sconces that are a little more decorated and the found light of the candles add a flicker and a rhythm. And the light coming from a restaurant so this is very simple. This is not designed lighting. This is public lighting. The street lights are the main source of light. The found light of a window. The window wasn't designed, the light in somebody's house wasn't designed to light the street, but I call it found light because in fact it does light the street. Oh, here's some private lighting. Actually, it's lighting the side. That's why the sidewalk is so bright. So these stores have created a really fantastic, bright sidewalk environment. It's so bright that you can even sell books on the sidewalk. Here's the book stall in the light of the Staples Eves. And here is a newsstand with just the right amount of light to sell candy and magazines in a little shelter. And then across the street, we can see the blinking walk, don't walk signals. What else can I see here? Um, the storage compartment is lit up so wonderfully by the lighting from Barnes & Noble's store. Barnes & Noble's store is lighting the storage container. These are moments that are unexpected and bright and that add so much life incidentally to the street. So I guess you would call this found lighting. It's not really designed lighting, but it adds so much to the walk down the street. And here we have all the merchandise is perfectly lit. The cases are lit. And then there's the sparkle effect, which no one can argue with. The sparkle effect adds joie de vivre and happiness to the street. Wouldn't you think that a hole in the ground would be dark and dismal? This is the New York City subway, and we have lots of bright light from a linear fluorescent, and the signal of the famed New York City globe that tells us it's open. There's public lighting, which is the street light and headlights, actually. Private lighting is the shop front where the light oozes onto the street. And found light are the little lights that add to the rhythm of light on the sidewalk. All of these principles, or these three classifications, can really be applied globally to any city in the world. 
and it's a good way to just get into public lighting. I'm looking at the full moon. It's giving us about a half foot candle of light. The neon has this very warm feeling and it is handcrafted. It just really sets the tone for the corner. And hey, there's a lighting design that's actually done on purpose to light up a building, the Empire State Building. And this is really the one consciously designed lighting that we've talked about on this light walk. Public lighting is so important to the urban design of our cities because it allows people to spend time in public space at night. It's the space we all belong in. It's the space that belongs to us. So if urban designers and public lighting designers get together, we can start to create the visionary cities that we would all like to have.